Being going to change our workout. It hurts. Everything hurts. I'm scared. I'm scared. I feel like I'm dying. I am clearly dying. This has never existed. If I can do it, you can do it. It hurts to cough. It hurts to laugh. It hurts to breathe. I want some abs, but I want some booty too. Welcome back. It's another results video. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've been, you know, able to sit down and chat to you guys. But anyways, thank you guys so much for subscribing, liking my videos and commenting. It means so much to me. All right, let's jump straight into it because this video is gonna take me about one to two hours to film. Oh, joy. It's probably only gonna be about 10 to 15 minutes for you guys. I might cut it short a little today because I'm actually moving house. So this is the last time you're gonna see, see this set over here. Oh my God. I'm gonna talk about it in my next video and let's get on with the results. A few days ago, I woke up, got ready to go move out of my apartment, noticed I was getting a couple of messages, and then all of a sudden I was getting like hundreds of messages, and then thousands Have of messages. I was her? confused. <laughs> it quickly was brought to my yeah. attention that the queen herself, Chloe Ting, reacted to my fat ass. I'm gonna try and show you guys some of the moves that I didn't show you in my last video. Remember the queen? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. You see guys, she can't do cross body mountain climbers. Stop complaining. Oh wow, look at the moves. You're doing so well. Love it. I feel you on the rug situation. It happens to me every single time. It's okay to take breaks. Up next. Always take a break if you if you need to, okay? Adjust it based on how you feel. The up and down plank is nothing for her. She did it perfectly. Guys, you can do up and down planks. Oh my god, look at her form! She's like better than me, guys! Oh my god! <laughs> Definitely do your stretches after the workouts. Like, it changes so much after I started doing cool down and stretches. <laughs> I'm staring at it. Mm, mm. <laughs> Here it is, the moment you've all been waiting for. How I went from this Ooh, to this. Just kidding. It's <laughs> more like how I went from this to this. In oh my two god! Weeks. I, I felt like that was really good. Good job, man. There you have it, folks. I don't have abs. You guys are super impressed that I could like do some of these moves, which honestly, like, thank you. I didn't know I could do them either. I don't know <laughs> if some of you guys were expecting me to get abs in two weeks. If you were expecting me to get abs in two weeks, I would like to know your logic. <laughs> yeah, I think most of you guys are smart enough to know that it's just a video title. You know, it depends on where you are at your fitness journey. Like two weeks abs, it's not gonna guarantee that you're gonna get abs in two weeks. Or summer shred doesn't mean that you can only do summer shred during the summer you can do it anytime during the year it's just the title of the video the whole point of this two-week shred was to get people to get started on their fitness journey in the very beginning from the first video i made about this i said that i wasn't weighing myself i wanted yeah. to feel better i've started to feel the effects that all of my binging has done to my body so that was the purpose of this prior to starting this challenge the most exercise i would get would be me walking from my bed to my couch to the fridge to my bed to the couch to the fridge and that was for months i hadn't worked out i don't think a single person out there should get discouraged if you do not have abs in two weeks i can guarantee you that chloe didn't make the program thinking every single person that did it was gonna get abs in two weeks yes girl did you get that Karen? in the past i've like dove into things too quickly it triggers my eating disorder tendencies i go from eating way too much and binging to eating nothing and not exercising i was so weak i was so out of shape that i think my biggest change is my endurance level every day i would be able to get farther and farther in the workouts Yay! without having to take a break oh there were God. moves that i could not I'm do so in the beginning simply you, because my body was not physically capable of it i think putting effort into taking care of myself is Yay, really really so really happy. really really helping my mental health i would eat 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 and not do anything like i said i didn't think anyone would want to see this doing burpees i felt like i was doing this 
with an army of people. I wouldn't have gotten through it without you guys. Guys, this isn't the first time I've heard this. I've been getting so many comments that I'm changing lives, but you guys, you guys are doing a lot more than you think. Like you guys interacting with the comments, you know, other people's videos, like you guys are helping them to stay motivated. Whenever someone reply to your comments and motivate you, like don't you feel a little bit more motivated? That's what I'm saying. You guys are really helping one another out in the community and I really freaking love it. You guys are such lovely people. Anyways, feel free to check out Sam's upcoming videos. <laughs> Luca, can you stop? <laughs> Luca! <laughs> so cute! Luca! What? what do you mean, what? I'm trying to read and you're grunting ridiculously loudly right next to me. I'm training, Dad! Yep, yeah, I can see that, Luca. Can you just calm down a bit, yeah? You can do this, Skipper. Don't call me Skipper. I'm, what are you even doing? I'm doing Chloe Ting's ab workout. What? Oh. I'm doing Chloe Ting's ab workout. That's my video. Calm down, big boy. We can both do it. Luca, how are you going to do ab workout? Calm down, down do big boy. Are you mad? Yes, I can. Go on, then. No problem. Luca, just stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, look, can I just hug you? No, it's because you're three and your head is half the size of your torso. Ooh, someone's jealous. Why would I be jealous? Uh, because I'm shredded. Right, technically, I mean, yes, you're shredded, but you weigh like 14 kilos, so it doesn't really count. Tell it to my six pack, baby. You don't have a six pack. What do you call this then? Luca, you've clearly drawn those abs <laughs> on. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. They're not real. Oh, yeah, oh. if they're not real, how do you explain this then? Well, that looks pretty real to me. Anyway, since lockdown started, for some reason, I've stopped training apps. Like, the last couple of months, I've literally trained them three or four times, and two of those times was to get videos for Instagram posts. So, after much deliberation, that was a lie, I literally decided to do this five minutes ago. Today is the day I'm gonna turn it around. Today, I'm gonna be making up for all of that lost volume, because I'm gonna be doing Chloe Ting's two-week ab shred in a day. So I'm gonna eat a diet as well. Look, do you know what I'm doing today? I'm doing Chloe Ting's two week ab shred, yeah. but in one day. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem that impressed. I'm going to do the two week ab shred first. Let me do it now. But um, the video is called Chloe Ting's two week ab shred. It's not called I built a pie with Luca. No, they want about mommy help me. <laughs> That's a good idea, yeah. You get your priorities straight, okay, so two weeks shredded. What I'm going to be doing is the ab portion of that. So I've gone through, I've seen the ab workouts. It's one ab workout. You do it 12 times over the 14 day period. That means I'm going to be trying to do 12 ab workouts in one day. Probably a terrible idea. Okay, leg raise. Yeah. You look really fast, so okay. Get your form right. Look at Luca, it's just like judging, judging your butt <laughs> there right now. All right, mountain climber. Rug is annoying. Keep doing them, Daddy. Why are you not doing them? It's the rest, mate. <laughs> we need more look. I don't know we what this is. We need more look, man. How's this an exercise? You guys like the best personal trainer out there. <laughs> there is no way I can do twelve of these today. That is a terrible, this is a stupid idea. That wasn't too bad. Just like tiring and sweaty. At this point, I'll be honest, I'm not particularly positive about doing 12 because Terrible that's idea. a ridiculous amount. But, but you can do it though. Yeah, I for think. now, you are let's make so some breakfast. Fit. You're making the fucking pancake! And we have the finished wife? product. Your wife made it right. <laughs> I mean, they look alright to be fair, but probably not as good <laughs> as Chloe King's. <laughs> these are Japanese pancakes. Basically, they're not. <laughs> Okay, well these are supposed to be Japanese pancakes. I basically watched uh, Chloe Ting's most recent day of eating and I'm just gonna eat the thing she ate in that day. To be fair, she eats pretty sick stuff, right? Also, quantity wise, for a small girl, she eats some big portions. Yeah, That's something I weird, love isn't it? Anyway, um, their appearance is ultimately is irrelevant. So all that matters, fluffy. all that matters is the taste. Like the yeah, like in, in her video, Actually, they were good. super, they were like literally, like this, this would be one pancake, they were super thick. Yeah, mm, I stacked them. good. Yeah, real thick. They're like really different. It's almost like a crumpet. Do you know what I mean? Imagine you got a crumpet and then a pancake and then they had intercourse and they bread. That is what would, this would be their spawn. I can taste like the. Yeah, yeah it's actually sugar. pretty accurate. It's, like it's quite airy in there. Sugar made from vegan. plants. How is sugar not vegan? 
I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Snack time, a la Chloe Ting. And on this occasion, oh my god, my camera's wonky, is protein oh, jelly. Yeah. Luca, what was your experience with protein jelly like? <laughs> Thank you. So, here it is. I don't think I've ever eaten a protein. I think I don't recall ever having eaten protein jelly before. Says in form, says what is it? What? Just, you never on, had protein alert. jelly before? Protein. Jelly. Jelly. <laughs> okay, excellent. I mean, it, it meets like the criteria as far as like anyway. texture goes. I'm quite nervous. I'm not a massive fan of creamy things. Let's see what happens. Oh. You look grossed out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! I actually almost threw up then. Okay. Uh, that isn't very nice. It tastes, it does, yeah. That is reminiscent. Imagine scrambled egg, but just with no taste. That's what it tastes like. It was unflavored. Thanks, mate. Oh, that's so funny. I actually freaking love my protein jelly. You gotta add some sugar or some sweetener. Protein jellies are supposed to be sweet. You know what I mean? They're not supposed to be bland. And we are left with the final three workouts of the day, 10, 11, and 12. Three more now, workouts, I'm gonna be an absolute psycho it. and try and smash mm. these three workouts out in one go, back to back. It's in gonna be horrendous. Go. I wonder how many I can do in my own hour workout. <laughs> that would be a real clothing challenge for me. Good news and bad news. Good news is I have some raw chocolate because Chloe eats it. I knew it! I knew you were going to have some like, snacks. I think if raw chocolate has been disgusting because it's not dairy free, but it's actually decent. Anyway, bad news is that I'm done for the day. I'm calling it quits, I'm sacking it off. Um, I've got two workouts left, but yeah, it's been like almost two hours since the last one. I have like extreme doms in my abs. I still don't feel, I feel oh a bit God. weird, like a low-key sick, just, yeah, kind of uncomfortable, so. I don't recommend you to try to do 10 of my ab workouts in a day. Matt did 10 because he's insane, and he's also really, really fit. Some people can do the workout twice, some people once, or some people can't even, you know, finish some of the exercises. You know what, that's okay. Like, it's completely fine. Don't feel like you have to follow through what other people are doing. I have to train up for some of my programs. Like, you think I'm that strong? I gotta train to be strong. <laughs> so yeah, I just want to tell you guys to not compare yourself to another person. Yeah, thanks for making the video, Matt. That was fun. And next. The people asked and she delivered. Possibly her greatest challenge yet. Will she live to tell the story or die trying? <laughs> That's a good intro. Why am I watching here? <laughs> it's like a freaking trailer. In the most epic installment yet. Oh my god. The Chloe <laughs> Teen Challenge. Yes. Hi guys and welcome back. So this week I did the Chloe that Ting two week shred right? challenge and yikes. I did not know who Chloe Ting was before and you guys recommended her videos to me and she is so fun to watch. I've binge watched all of her videos because she has such oh, a cute personality so and I just really enjoy watching her. By the way, hi Chloe, if you end up watching this video, which hopefully you do because I love hi. you. Now it was time for the dreaded weigh-in. I was just about as excited to do this weigh-in as Ellen is to let Nikki Tutorials use the bathroom. I ended up weighing say? in at a whopping 79.8 kilos. It's not bad. <gasps> Kidding. I wasn't too unhappy about that. Here's some before shots of my body. I definitely wanted to work on the fat that goes around my stomach and on my back. You guys let me know that you'd like to hear my measurements in my next video. So I've put my measurements up on the screen for you guys to look at. Now that we know what we're working with, it's time to start the challenge. Yes. I'm pretty sure that Chloe Ting was sent this workout by Satan himself <laughs> to torture unfit people for being lazy. My entire body burned. Burned like it had oh. never burned before. After this video, I actually felt like I needed to vomit. No. Which just made me feel even more like I was a contestant on The Biggest Loser. As you can see, I spent most of the time during this workout laying on the floor <laughs> and wondering how on earth you am can I do, do this it, girl. You weeks. can. I'm pretty sure it got stronger. See, you're getting stronger. <laughs> you gotta leave that in, right? <laughs> 
Day eight started with me trying another Chloe Ting recipe. This time I tried her sweet potato egg cups. Ooh, of course, I, I will link the recipe down below with all of the other recipes I yeah. tried throughout the week. Yeah, I want that so now. She just <laughs> peels up because I can't I'm lazy. see people try my recipes. Like, I didn't have any vegan cheese, out, but I have so. nutritional yeast. Then she put some spinach yeah. in. I have leafy mix. That works. Oh, it's build over. And put them in the oven. <laughs> okay, this is them when they are done. Oh my god, I love that! Look at it, Maya! Ten out of ten, that mm -hmm. is delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have no idea how excited I get when I see my recipes out there. You guys trying them and you know telling me that it's ten out of ten. It doesn't have to be 10 out of 10. I, I just genuinely get so excited to see my recipes out there. And I'm definitely, definitely gonna make more food videos soon. So let me know down in the comments if you guys wanna see that. Regardless of what you're gonna say in the comments, I'm still gonna make them. Because I wanna share them! <laughs> I finished the Chloe Ting two week trip. Guys, sweat drops it was hard, spit job. but we did it. Now it was the final weigh in, and I weighed in at 78.9 kilos. What was it before? Honestly, I was expecting <gasps> to lose more weight than this, but it just goes to really show great. that the scale isn't really what matters. Fortunately, I did see a change in my measurements, especially around my stomach, and just in the overall look of my body and physique, I definitely could see a massive difference. When you look at my side-by-side -side comparisons, I look so much better in the second oh picture. God. So much slimmer and so much more toned. When I pressed down on my stomach, oh my God, it had never I'm felt so, so hard shocked. in my life. I was thinking that what wow. I lost in weight, I gained in muscle. Well, guys, this is I was amazing. so excited to keep on going with my weight loss journey. Okay, so now that the challenge is finished, I want to talk about I'm some sure. things I would do differently and some advice. I guys, she ended the video with what she would have done differently, so check her full video out. But you know, when you do like high intensity workouts, there's a chance that you're gonna grow a little bit more muscles. So that's the reason why sometimes you don't see a huge drop in your weight. And that's not a bad thing because muscle is, I have said this a million times, but muscle gain is a good thing, especially when you're trying to lose weight because they're metabolically more active and it's gonna help you to increase your metabolism, gonna get you stronger and push through all my workouts. So it's a good thing. So John, just measure yourself based on your weight. Very important. All right, that's all for today's video. I really need to go pack. I'm gonna roll some more results and also shout outs to some of you guys who made amazing videos, so definitely check them out. But yeah, smash that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll be definitely making more videos at my new place because it's gonna be a lot easier. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. If I didn't do this group chat with my friends, I probably wouldn't have made it this far. I probably would have start, uh, stopped on day two, and that's what a lot of them said too. They were, they said that they probably wouldn't have finished, but since we are all in it together, we all had to do it together. So here are my results. So yeah, I really enjoyed this challenge. Looking great obviously contributes to feeling great, but I don't feel like it should be the end all and be all, just because it can be really demotivating. You don't see a lot of progress and everybody's body and metabolism is different and everybody's diet is different and health concerns are different. So I don't personally think that that's a really good measurement. But nevertheless, I did see quite a bit of physical transformation. In general, this line here, the obliques, um, you know, I still am not completely solid, but I just feel really strong. I've been so excited to meet some of you guys through the hashtag on Instagram. It just made me so happy that we have like this kind of little community all doing this challenge together. And it really motivated me to keep going and make sure that I saw it through to the very end. Even though I didn't see a huge change in the overall physical appearance of my body. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop on really quick and say that once I actually put my two videos from my video from day one next to my video from day 25, I saw a huge difference in my body. I think I was just having one of those typical days where you wake up in the morning and you just look in the mirror and you feel like you don't look any different, but then once you see like your progress photos or anything like that side by side, you're like, wow, there actually really is a big difference. I wanted to work out because I wanted it for health benefits. That is also the reason why I didn't measure myself and I also didn't weigh myself because I just wanted to look good and feel good. And that is what happened. Hey.